Well, this is why I am, but before we get into it, I just want to thought I should let you know I have a series called Let's Talk Singing, Acting, Dancing with Harry's Productions. We talk about stuff that's got to do with singing, dancing, acting, including about teaser trailers, <coughs> and also topics like do kids get scared, uh, sometimes very, very based videos, but I try and talk about numbers of stuff. So, it's kind of like this. So today, we're going to talk about teaser trailers. And yes, I know I've already talked about them on those productions, but yeah, again, if I talk about them there, I have to talk about it here. It's what I do. So, what are teaser trailers? Well, teaser trailers are what I'll put on your screen right now. Teaser trailers are supposed to be a teaser. They could be 16 seconds, they could be up to a minute, a minute and 35. You could do what Avengers Infinity War did, as of that was the first look. They had some clips, they had some photos in there, they had the directors, um, the writers and the producers talking about it, including the actors as well. And and also at the end of it, it said it was in production from that day. Kind of like how Star Wars Episode 8 did. Their first look was the scene that we saw at the end. And then it's and then it has some other clips there and it said now into production. So how to make them how to make them. It's kind of like a process where you have to go through certain things. First, it's paying on what you're doing. Let's just say that you're making a real film, you are. This is for your video, something that's well not taken from others. Let's say you're making a film. First, to make and have this teaser trailer, you can use words and texts and other audio um, voiceovers that's already been made, you can. But sometimes it's better to use will deal stuff as of some of the clips that you have already filmed. Um, so you can use whatever you want from there, but make sure you're not giving too much away about the film. For instance, if it's got to do with something that's got to do with um, Star Wars and it's canon, you want to keep it down, you do, but also make sure Disney doesn't come up and sue you. Or if you're making something original like what I do, Addy's SMC, that's my original this style, then, well, I would say that you'll be okay. I would say you'll be okay. So, you need clips, you do. That's the first thing you need. And you need to actually film and then have clips. The Guardians of the Galaxy Harry Styles documentary that I made was from clips of the trailer that I used. And I also used a site, and I just thought, might as well make it good, because I haven't made a good trailer like that since the Batman one. So, new clips. Now after that, after you've done all your filming, you go into the editing process, and you edit it out how you want to do. Remember to include text, fonts, um, also the release date, the name of the film, at, put that at the end, and also if you want it now to production, go and do that. And if you want it to be like, for instance, um, the coming out date, the release date, then put that in. It's all different for each one. So like video games will have a different process. Your YouTube videos will have a different process. Literally everything will have a different process. So, yeah. So really, I guess it shouldn't be that hard. Depending how you like editing or not, it should be alright. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, just to let you know, this is not repeatedly. I don't do this every Sunday. I do miss out a few. But yeah, again, you're lucky today. Hope you enjoyed this one. And I will see you all on the next one. Please like and subscribe. And tomorrow's a bank holiday.